Here we are once again honoring remarkable women in Central Indiana. One of this year's finalists uses her own personal tragedy to make change in Indiana. Jennifer Lee made it her mission to honor the lives of the daughter and grandbaby she lost. And Lindsay Eaton shows us why Jennifer is such a remarkable woman. In May 2017, Jennifer Lee's life changed forever. We got the phone call um, that Brittany had been shot. On May 4th of that year, Jennifer's 18-year-old daughter, Brittany, was shot and killed by a stray bullet. At the time, Brittany was 11 weeks pregnant. When the man accused in Brittany's killing was charged, he was charged with murder for her death, but only aggravated battery for the baby Brittany was carrying. Her last words to them was, please don't let me lose my baby. I felt like I had to fight for this baby and that this baby was alive. This baby mattered to me, mattered to my daughter. And fight she did. She sent hundreds of letters to House members, senators, even the President of the United States. They were going to hear me. Um, rather they did it or they didn't, I wasn't going to stop. A bill passed in Indiana in 2018, making it law that anyone who murders an expected mother and her unborn baby can be charged with murder, manslaughter, or feticide. This is the only justice that I will get, is my daughter and her baby gave up their lives to for many babies to be accounted for. And if that's all I can get, that's what I'll accept. And earlier this year, that law was called on for the first time when police say a teenager shot and killed his family, including an unborn child. <music> Jennifer's friends are in awe of her fight for justice. The way that she gives back and just has a heart for everyone and just making her daughter still be alive. She is remarkable. Everything she's been through and how strong she is, it's just really incredible all that she does for everybody. Jennifer also started a maternity home for young mothers called Hope for Peanut. They haven't been able to house any expected mothers so far because of the pandemic. So next month, she's starting a pantry called Mommy and Peanut's Pantry to help mothers in need of food assistance. This is how I keep Brittany alive. This is, Brittany is not going to die. I'm not going to let Brittany die. And this is how I keep her and her baby alive. Oh my goodness. We're going to be highlighting three more remarkable women this month too. And you can also see their stories if you would like to learn more on fox59.com. So much pain in the world, but someone like her using it for good and trying to bring hope and change to others. And so so the other way yeah. but she put all Angry, of her energy into making it mm -hmm. you know to remember her to daughter help. yeah yeah incredible story